All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fire Force Season 2, Episode 22. I've got nothing to say before this all the episode. Other than that, if you like the video, make sure to drop a like to help support the channel. I really appreciate it. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to receive future reactions. Anyway, guys, let's get into the episode right now. This creepy bug bastard. Oh, did Arthur hit? What happened? He avoided it? Oh. I feel like off is kind of easy to read, regardless of if um, this guy used pheromones or anything or not. Superheated gas. Bro, is there a book that can release superheated gas? What? Um, yes. Why wouldn't they? I mean, let people live their lives first before they arrive at a higher plane of existence. Oh, show. Oh, that face. <laughs> oh, what happened to Ara's face? Did she always have that scar or...? Was it caused by her? Oh, Shira looks pissed. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Where's he gone? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> bro, Shinra. Oh, Shinra is quick right now. Oh, this animation is stellar. <laughs> Oh, there is not nothing beats just pure speed and like boom sounds in anime. It's just so easy to impress me. Okay, this is some new information. You can't connect to people who haven't connected to Adler. But what is the relevance of this? I don't understand. Who? Dio Giovanni and. Oh yeah, him. Conro. Oh yeah, the place is going to self-destruct, isn't it? Monroe Newman effect, which requires a sort of cone shape. Oh really? Hmm, that's interesting. Wow. What? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we had someone like Maki, maybe. Yeah. Oh, imagine if Maki was here. Wouldn't that be helpful? <laughs> Hopefully Maki's just... here in some way. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Obi. What's this? Oh, she's here! <laughs> yes! Let's go, Maki! Ah, oh, it's a communicate. I was like, he flipped it then. Hell yeah, Maki. Coming through. Coming in clutch to say the day. Now he's going to see that Maki's a relevant part of this team. Who cares if she's a girl? Fuck you. Oh, her mom, her mom was taken off the front line too? I'm not surprised. Her mom seems like a badass. Bro, if you don't, shut up. Damn. How are they going to get rid of this then? Yeah, but in return, you're going to kill yourselves. No, no. How do we... What's the answer to this situation? Come on, Maki! Oh, that's a cool visual. Auto. Where's this explosion? Oh, okay. God. Science is crazy in the show. What is the brother's ability? Some kind of navigation ability or something? I don't know. This dot? Oh my god, good job, Maki. Thought that was going to be a lot more crazy. You're goddamn right. Now screw off. Let her be in the eighth. Hell yeah. Arthur, where have you go? Oh. Non self. <laughs> Do you work? Oh my god. He's like turned his brain off so he can't be read. <laughs> no, 
Mm, villain Dino. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me, dead, bro. Well, she's a good meat shield, all right. <laughs> Absolutely. Good job, Lieutenant. Good job, Maki. Ah, oh, we're out of the never. Finally, sunlight. What does this mean for Conroe then? Like, how was he able to connect? He's lost his right hand and left leg, but he's still alive. Damn. He's got the will to live on a potato. <sighs> yeah. Still would have liked something more of a battle for her, but sure. <laughs> Eyebrows going over the black ball. <laughs> <laughs> platoon leader, hell yeah. And we don't even have a platoon. <laughs> Fish beat. No squads either. <laughs> hell yeah. We don't need platoons or squads. We just got the boys. <laughs> Right, so that is the Never Arc over once again. Um, and we have Maki back on the squad. It's nice to see. Um, really cool fights this episode. Kind of, well, kind of short um, between Shinra and Giovanni and kind of Arthur as well. Um, but it was really, half, honestly, just the little action, speedy, strong move fanboy in me was just loving that Shinra fight, honestly. Um, uh, and shout out to Maki for coming back when she did with uh, Vulcan's communicator and stuff like that. And just saving the day, like proving to her family that she is worth and she is powerful. Like we didn't already know that already though, but um, the lieutenant wanted to test it and she passed the test. So everybody is back to where they should be now, which is great. Um, I haven't got much more else to say other than that. Overall, a very good episode. And yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.